smart. Tragic. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Persona 5 New Game Plus. We are here still in between palaces, awaiting the next major story beats, which will be the events that occur on the social studies trip, which I think is Friday and Saturday this week, or maybe Thursday, Friday this week. Um, so not a f we don't have too many more free days. Um, and what's interesting today is that we have pretty much no confidant ability or no confidant unlocks whatsoever. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to focus on uh, a couple of 
things that we haven't really had the chance to explore yet within the game. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the batting cages which are located in Yongan Jaya. So the batting cages work as one, it's just a, a nice little mini game that you can take part in. The way they work is that they have three different difficulties um, and the difficulties are unlocked at different stages through the game. So until August you can only have the beginner uh the, the beginner level of difficulty and then uh between august and october you then have the obey the available the intermediate is unlocked and then after october the advanced is unlocked and the idea is that uh, you go to a cage and you've just got to try and strike as many um baseballs as they're being flung at you uh, as you best as you can if you hit them all if you, so if you get five balls thrown at you, and obviously the difficulty is based on the speed of how fast they travel. Depending on how many you hit, depends on the rewards that you get. So if you hit them all, you'll get a reward, I believe called the Slugger Award. And then also um, there's a target in the batting cages uh, for you to try and strike, and if you strike it, you will also receive a Home Run Award. And there are Slugger Awards and Home Run Awards for both, um, sorry, for all three of the um, difficulties that there are in the game. The other thing that doing, uh, the, the other thing that going to the batting cages does, well, there are two main things. One, it unlocks you, your ability to read the book about batting. So there is a book specifically designed for the batting cages, reading it means that you'll have an easier time because you can use third eye to slow down the ball during the process and so much with a lot of the books in the game you need to oh. be able to you need to activate you know you need to do something in order okay. to activate uh, to be able to buy them so in this particular nice. case given that um one of the trophies in the game is reading every single book yes. you definitely would need to come to the batting pages at least once just to mm -hmm. uh, just to read all of the books in that case nice going the other thing that striking all of the balls does or the other thing that you the other reason why you come here is because you get boosts right. to your proficiency um which is always you know which is nice um obviously we can boost proficiency in other ways namely usually through crafting uh, and through other confidant lines, but going to the batting cages is quite a nice way of boosting proficiency. Ah, you're back. If you strike just one ball, you will get two points to your proficiency, so one music note, and if you hit every ball, you will get three points to your proficiency, or two music notes. So, yeah, um... We'll probably try and do every single one of the batting. Uh, you see there that we Make got sure both of the rewards up. for the beginner. That is the main aim of a lot of these. So we're going to try and um, get both rewards at the same time uh, each time that we try this. And uh, yeah, moving on. Obviously, it's going to be a little while before we can even uh, think about doing the other ones because they're not going to be unlocked for a fair while. And then afterwards, uh, we looked at, uh, you know, I was looking at the thing, and again, we have very few confidants available to us, so uh, we'll do another crossword here uh, to take up some more time, uh, and also to give that small boost to our knowledge and continue uh, the process that we're taking of trying to do every single crossword puzzle in the game. Um, again, I think there are 15 of them in total, and we'll have done a fair few by now. Um, don't know exactly how many, but probably around five or six, which is good. Okay, well, All right, that's going to be it for this episode. Not much uh, character development, but, you know, we've got little bits going on here and there. And I hope to see you on the next episode, where I All think right. we'll be getting back into doing some more confidant-related uh, activities. I'll see you then.